for today's schematic, I have a replacement for my 5x5 polarizer that I introduced a while back. It was a good design. It allows you to feed in the scrap from the top and then put out sand on the right-hand side or the left-hand side and feed it to, say, your silicon smelter 2x2. Uh, it was an improvement over the previous design where we just had this very long and skinny line of pulverizers. Uh, now, the problem with this one is that it uses, uses a lot of silicon. And instead of this design, I now have what I call the scrap arrow. I say that because there's kind of an arrow shape of these pulverizers. You feed in scrap from the top from three of the sides and it will output sand to the bottom. Now, uh, I have two variations here. One has conveyor belts where you can feed it off to wherever you need to go, or you can take this design and attach it directly onto my two by two uh, design. So here I have my two by two silicon smelter. You simply remove that this uh, unloader plop down the design and feed in your scrap and your coal, and now you're getting your silicon out to the bottom, all in one design. Now this is very useful because you can apply it to all of my 2x2 designs that require sand. Uh, you can see you feed in your scrap from the top, feed in your other materials, and now you're getting your materials out to the bottom. Uh, and this works pretty good for, it's not your perfect ratio, but it does get you most of what you need. Uh, now if you have a little extra, if you have two factories right next to it, you can feed off some to the next factory over. Uh, in the case, in this case, the kiln didn't need quite as much sand as we're providing. Um, or you can go ahead and copy the bottom two rows of the 2x2 two two design and paste it down below and make a 2x3. Uh, here I have one of the kiln and of the pyrotype mixture. And this gives you a pretty good use for all of that scrap to convert it to sand, and then you can make whatever you're needing. 